Today we unbox and review one of the best seller blood pressure monitors on Amazon the Omron HEM7120. Let's unbox it. It comes in a cardboard box with Omron's branding over it and all the tech specs and features mentioned at the back. We'll discuss each one of them later in this video. The MRP return here is 2680 but I bought 4800 rupees from Amazon. Here we have the arm cuff along with four AA size snorkeling batteries, some documentation and the main BP monitor itself. Alright guys, here is my review after using this product for 90 days. First, let's discuss why Omro, why most of the doctors suggest this brand than any other. Well, I think it's due to several reasons. First being the brand value. Omron is a Japanese brand and they are experts in industrial automation, manufacturing of electrical and mechanical components, EV parts and uh, automotive electronics. And moreover, Omron holds over 50% of global market share in home blood pressure monitor business. That's how huge Omron is. Maybe that's the reason doctors often suggest this. Home blood pressure monitors are usually of two types, the wrist type and the upper arm cuff type. The upper arm cuff gives more accurate readings because the arm cuff remains at a level of your heart. That's why the readings are somewhat more accurate than the wrist type. The HEM7120 is an entry level product from Omron and it works on oscillometric method. When constricted blood flow happens through your arteries due to the pressure of the arm cuff, the artery tend to contract and relax. This causes vibrations and vibrations can travel through a medium. Here, the air inside arm cuff acts as the medium. The vibration travels through that air till it reaches the onboard sensor of the PCB. That's how it takes reading. Inside a typical blood pressure monitor, there is an LCD display, a microcontroller based PCB, solenoid valve and a DC motor driven diaphragm pump. The diaphragm pump is an interesting part, it's my favorite. When the motor spins, the shaft rotates an eccentric rotor. At the end, the, the diaphragm is connected. The eccentric motion of the rotor produces a reciprocating motion on the diaphragm. Two valves are present, the suction and discharge valve. As the diaphragm keeps on reciprocating, the suction and discharge valve opens and closes. When the suction valve is in open position, the discharge valve closes. Now let's understand how these blood pressure monitors work. When you press the start button, the fuzzy logic program starts running in its microcontroller. As a result, it commands the DC motor driven diaphragm pump to inflate the arm cuff at a pressure 20 millimeters of mercury higher than the, your systolic blood pressure. At that pressure, the arteries get compressed completely and no blood flow happens. There is complete silence. Now the deflation process starts. The solenoid valve opens and releases that air at the rate of 4 millimeters of mercury per second. When the cuff pressure falls below your systolic, just below your systolic pressure, your artery tends to contract and relax and blood starts flowing. This flow of blood causes vibrations. Those pulsating vibrations are transferred through the air inside the cuff to the onboard pressure sensor. That's how it senses the reading. These vibrations keep on coming until it falls below diastolic pressure. At that point there are no vibrations and that last reading is the diastolic reading. So various manufacturers use different logics and different algorithms to calculate the actual blood pressure. How to use it? Make sure you are sitting in a comfortable position and do not cross your legs. Keep Sit in a relaxed position and keep your hand on a table like this and wear the arm cuff. Avoid clothing as possible because clothing may interfere with the accurate readings. Make sure you keep the tube side in the underside of your arm. There is also a marking given, an arrow is given here, an artery marking is here. You should wear it like this. And don't tighten it too much or don't keep it too loose. Make sure you it's loose enough to so that you can put your two fingers like this. Now press the start button. Do not clench your fist like this. Keep your fist in a relaxed position like this. There are so many YouTube misleading YouTube videos so you have to clench your fist for uh, taking the reading. Avoid that. That's a definitely a wrong practice. Okay. 
avoid conversations while taking the reading because that may give you a wrong values here are some error symbols that appear on the device and you must be knowing them before using this pp monitor the first one indicates irregular heartbeat the second symbol indicates body movement and the third one shows if the arm cuff is applied properly or not and the last two symbols indicate the battery status when the battery is about to get exhausted that symbol gets when the battery is totally drained the last battery status comes and e1 e2 e3 these are the other error codes you can pause the video and read about them here is the technical specification list about this product it uses an lcd display it works on oscillometric method and the measurement range is 0 to 299 mm of mercury blood pressure measurement range is 20 to 280 mm of mercury it has a pulse measurement range of 40 to 180 beats per minute talking about its accuracy the plant claims an accuracy of plus or minus 3 mm of mercury in blood pressure monitoring and plus or minus 5 percentage in pulse monitoring this bb monitor has an ip20 rating which means there is no protection from water damage and drops scratches so you must keep it safe from safe and away from water the bb monitor has a design life of five years and the arm cuff of one year when used six times a day other specification you can read on the screen please pause the video and understand this product has not been validated to be used on pregnant patients here are few tips to get more accurate readings avoid clothing in between the arm cuff and sit in a relaxed position give proper back support and rest your arm for properly on a table and avoid conversation while taking the readings and do not take readings near electromagnetic interference such as near uh, a microwave a stabilizer or anything which produces a lot of electromagnetic waves electromagnetic interference can cause variations in its reading for using the last memory function the start button must be pressed for more than 5 seconds and the last reading will be displayed the onboard memory can store only one reading but you can use Omron Connect app from the Play Store for logging your data daily onto your smartphone. I'll mention link in the description. That's how you can save the data directly onto your smartphone. It doesn't require Bluetooth connectivity. In case you run out of batteries, this BP monitor can also be powered using a good quality 6 volt adapter. Just after that I took readings again using alkaline batteries. Omron claims a battery life of 1000 measurements for every new set of batteries. I bought this blood pressure monitor for my parents and it was priced at Rs. 1800. It's definitely a good product in this price segment and the values are more reliable than any smartwatch in the same price range. Build quality and construction is really good. But I felt it would have been great if Omron provided a carry case or carry pouch along with it. The arm cuff is of latex free construction. It's made up of nylon polyester and PVC. It feels good and the texture is just right for the purpose. When I ordered this product from Amazon, a 5 years of warranty was clearly mentioned in the product description. But now they have changed it to 3 years. So I really doubt it's after sale service. Have you ever used an Omron product? Feel free to share your experience in the comment section. Based on the user experience, my rating for this product is 4 out of 5. If you find this video useful, do like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get my latest videos.